Power transmission is fundamental to our everyday life. It's so fundamental that basically we forget all about it. And if we think about it at all, then we think of power transmission lines and electricity. But power transmission is a process required for every piece of machinery, from tiny motors in pop-up selfie cameras to things like the transmission lines of the Large Hadron Collider. Power transmission applications are around us all of the time and we use power transmission applications to move power from a prime mover to the machinery that's going to perform its function and there are four main types of power transmission electrical we're really used to hydraulic of course pneumatic air and mechanical mechanical power transmission is that transfer of mechanical energy that's physical motion from one component to another in machines and most machines need some form of power transmission Common examples include things like electric shavers, water pumps, water wheels, turbines, cars, and in most cases, the rotational movement of the prime mover is converted into another rotational movement of the driven machinery. However, quite often the speed, torque and direction may well need changing. And every now and then the rotational movement needs to be changed into a back and forth movement or a translation depending on the requirements, for example a reciprocating saw. Surprisingly enough there are only six types of power transmission in machinery. The five common ones are shaft couplings, chain drives, gear drives, belt drives and power screws or lead screws. And the one that's not often thought of as a drive but more as a mechanism is the coulisse mechanism. Actually it's just French for slide and it's any slide mechanism that can be used to drive is a coulisse drive. And it's found as both a linear and a spherical form. And as a drive, it comes up time and time again in research papers as being more efficient than other more traditional forms that are thought of as a drive. Now we have met this before in a previous video when we constructed the Hobson linkage. The Hobson linkage is in fact an example of a coulisse drive. If you turn one of these, <laughs> there you go, you'll notice that they're both turning in the same direction and although these are fixed, they're able to transmit that through 90 degrees. But the really funky thing is when I put a drill on. The Hobson coupler is a very interesting device for connecting two axles at 90 degrees so they rotate in the same direction. But it is also a springboard for an awful lot of other things. One thing you can do with it is make an engine out of it and an engine's been made called the elbow engine. Of course you could immediately see how you could turn that into a solenoid engine or equally reverse that and make it a kind of generator. So of itself an interesting and versatile joint that's used in things like angled tools for reaching hard to reach places. But there's another coulisse mechanism I'd like to introduce you to and that's a spherical coulisse drive. Now I got this from Thang 010146 and he's an awesome guy. He's got more than 3800 mechanisms on his channel and he includes the CAD files as step files that you can open in OpenShot. I didn't particularly like this design so I redrew it in Tinkercad like this and of course I will put these files in Thingiverse should anybody want to actually download them and this is a 3D printable version that just clips together. And when you've printed it off, that's what you get. Now there are only seven parts. I have included a 10 millimeter ball, but you're better off getting yourself a 10 millimeter ball bearing. But if you don't want to do that, there's a 10 millimeter ball in the file. To put it together, I mean, it's dead simple. That, which is the crank arm, goes in there first, and then you put a clip in there to hold the crank arm in place. When the crank arm's in place, you put a clip onto there and drop it into there like that. This goes onto there like that. It's the interfacing gear and you need a spot of glue on it just to hold it in place and then the ball bearing slots between that and that and squeeze it in there there we go now it only works in one direction it only works if you turn that if you turn that it'll just spin round and round but if you turn that then this happens Okay, that's very cool.
Okay, that's pretty cool. Now it's a two to one ratio, which means for two turns of that, we get one full turn of that. And so of course, we're going to get twice the torque on the output, which is right there. Now I'm personally not sure what to use this for because it's really for me an alternative drive system to have a look at but I do know that these have been used and the reports on them are pretty good in terms of their power transfer but there we go a sliding non-gear power transfer that I don't think is looked at nearly enough I hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe